don't think that I've personally experienced or witnessed uh, suppression of free speech at Columbia. You think that this is a like a Ivy League institution that we'd like uh, we'd uh, want students to talk more and like be open with what they believe. So I don't know. This is not really something that I would have thought. I think everyone here is very open-minded, and so I'm not really sure where that's coming from. Um, probably not the best environment for free speech. I'm surprised that it's the worst. surprised by that result. Um, I mean, I think that there is definitely a homogenous point of view at school, but I don't think that opposing points of view are necessarily suppressed either. I do feel like this campus is like fairly restrictive, so like in a way I'm not surprised, but it's disappointing. Um, it is a little surprising to me, uh, but I guess I could see there are different, w definitely ways I guess Columbia could improve, so. I've heard like maybe some people with like certain political views might like not be able to express their opinions because it might be perceived as offensive, so I guess that might be part of it, but like I feel like that, that can happen anywhere. You do kind of have to walk on eggshells a bit because you don't want to offend anybody. And I guess the, the general culture, at least from what I've seen so far, is that like if you do kind of misstep, people aren't really as forgiving as you'd like them to be. So I think this campus is very adverse to ideas that go against the grain. Um, I've certainly seen people get like trashed online or, or in class. If they'll say something, it'll come up after class, makes people afraid to speak. Of course people feel like they can't say things. I feel like people think they might be like judged by like the majority, I guess. I don't know. I think that maybe um, some people are more uncomfortable with um, kind of gender expression, especially, for example, if somebody were to misgender somebody, they don't really know what to say afterwards. Um, I mean, it's mainly like politics, any political issues that are like of contention. Like recently there was like, um, like the Roe v. Wade thing and, and stuff like those types of decisions where obviously like having one opinion or the other can obviously divide between people, like stuff like that, like people are more sensitive about. Um, for sure politics, especially if you're not leaning left, uh, can't say a word about that. Types of speech that should be banned? I think like hate speech. Hate, she hate speech is unacceptable. I think that hate speech should definitely at, at least be monitored. I mean, like hate speech, like just things that like, you know, make people feel unwelcome. Well, like hate speech, yeah, that's not good to be hearing, but I think everything else, as long as it's like furthering ideas and all that, that's that's good to, good to talk about. Like, obviously like you can say whatever you want, like physically, but like there's going to be like social repercussions and like legal repercussions if you say like certain things. Um, so it's like people should just be like more careful about what they say. I think speech should be free, but also there are limitations. I don't know how to, like it's, um, yeah, I think it should be a safe space for everybody, but I don't think speech that is derogatory towards a certain group or a certain um, population of people. I don't think that's okay. It's not uh, a progressive conversation. I think the conversation should always be moving forward. It shouldn't be taking steps back and being regressive in that sense, if that answers, yeah. I think the limitations should really reflect First Amendment kind of limitations where obviously you can't, no fighting words, no, I don't want to say no hate speech because that's very loosely defined, but I think college is a place where ideas should be exchanged freely.